Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to do a generic overview of how to load a custom ROM. Alright, so before you begin, uh, if you want more information on what a ROM is, uh, rooting, and all that kind of stuff, feel free to head to our glossary of terms we have linked right there and that'll help you get familiar with all of this jargon. Uh, now, you might have come to this procedure uh, because you were linked to from one of our other how-tos, usually rooting procedures. At the end of our rooting procedure, we link to this so that you can then learn how to load a custom ROM after rooting, since that is a popular thing to do after someone roots their device. Uh, if you haven't come from there and you've got here some other way, then please click on the link here um, to head to our how-tos, find your device, and then do the how to root for your device before coming to this procedure. Uh, you must have root access before you can load a custom ROM. Okay, now root access itself is basically um, is basically giving the phone to give us permission to do whatever we want to the device. Once we have that, that's when we can start changing things around, loading custom ROMs, using certain apps that require root access, etc. Um, after you have root access though, the next thing you need in order to load a custom ROM is called a custom recovery image. So all Android devices have a recovery partition. This is a section of their memory that is devoted just to this recovery image. Um, it's normally used in a normal situation to get the phone back if something happens. So for example, if the operating system crashes, you can then probably still get into recovery mode because it is not technically a part of the main operating system as such, um, and then use the recovery image to reload the operating system, get things back to normal, etc. Now what we do, is we load a custom recovery image. So one that a developer has created and kind of tweaked a bit to give us a lot more functionality within that recovery partition. We normally use this to flash things like radios, kernels, um, and of course, custom ROMs. So now that you have root access, you need a custom recovery image in order to load a ROM. So head to uh, the market on your device and look for and to do that, if you don't already have a custom recovery image, because some of our rooting procedures give you one, so just check to make sure you uh, haven't already flashed one, we're gonna go to the Play Store, or the Market, whatever you wanna call it nowadays, and we're gonna search for ROM space manager, and search and then click on the free one and click install and wait for that to install. Once it does, we can open it up. Click OK. And then you're going to click this button up here at the top called Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, it may ask you to choose your device, make sure you choose which one you have. Click that uh, and then it'll also pop up and say, do you want to grant super user permissions? Say grant and then wait for it to flash the recovery. And once it says successfully flashed on your device, then we can go and find a ROM that we want to flash. So to do that, you can head to our ROM repository by clicking that link there, or at the top of the site, clicking on ROMs, then clicking on Android, and it'll bring you here. Now you find whatever device you have. Mine happens to be a Samsung. And then choose your actual device. And you'll be presented with all of the different ROMs uh, that we've found for said device. Then you're gonna go through these. Um, you can also, some of them have been rated and decide which one you wanna flash. Let's try this one. Scroll down, look for the download link, and this will take you to the developer's actual page. And then within usually the first post here, you will find uh, a download link. So for example, we have this one. And then download that file, and make sure that you leave it as a .zip. Do not extract it, we want it to be in .zip format. and save it to your desktop, for example. Okay, and once we download that ROM to our desktop, we're going to plug in our device via USB cable so we can transfer files to it. And 
And then we're gonna take that .zip file, again, not extracting it, leaving it as a .zip, and put it on our SD card for internal storage, but not inside any folders, just put it on the SD card or internal storage itself. Wait for that to transfer. Okay, once that transfers, we can unplug our device via USB. Then we're gonna go to ROM Manager. Click Reboot into Recovery, hit OK. Again, if it pops up with this, hit Grant, and wait for the device to reboot into Recovery. Okay, now once it boots into Recovery mode, and we have our little custom recovery screen, similar to what I see here, um, we're gonna go to Backup and Restore by using the volume buttons, and then Power to select it, and then select backup by pushing the power button. This will take a while to do, but it's gonna back up everything that is on the phone right now, just in case when we flash the ROM it doesn't work properly, we wanna go back to this, etc. So wait for that to finish. Okay, and once the backup is complete, we're gonna go down to wipe data factory reset, hit power to select, and then scroll down to yes. Um, what this is gonna do is actually wipe all of our data off of the phone as if we were returning it back um, you know, to out of box state. You wanna do this every time before you flash a ROM, generally speaking, um, just because sometimes some of the data that's left over from one ROM conflicts with the data in the new ROM. So most ROM developers are gonna ask you to do this first. So that's why we're doing that. Wait for that to finish wiping data. And once that is done, we can now actually flash the ROM. So we're gonna go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and then look for the .zip file ROM that we put on here. So scroll down, I've got a lot of folders on here. And here it is right there. So once you've done that, you're gonna push the power button to select it and then push power again on yes to confirm and wait for it to flash the ROM. Once it's done flashing the ROM, we simply just need to hit reboot system now and wait for the device to reboot. Okay, and then once it reboots, you're gonna have to go through uh, the normal setup process, most likely, um, and then you'll be uh, back to your normal home screen with your custom ROM. So enjoy that, and if you wanna switch ROMs, um, which most people do until they find one that they really like, uh, just simply redo section four right here on our site underneath this video, and that'll guide you step-by-step step to loading the next ROM. You don't have to try to load a custom recovery and root again, obviously. Um, just load another ROM, another ROM, another ROM, until you're happy. Enjoy.